Dance is, is try to find out what the photographers' plans are. Um, I've heard of areas in the country where the photographers are a little more, um, let me say it diplomatically, militant. Yeah. Would that be a good word? And they want to take charge. Um, since you're working for the bride, you know, your bride is your client. If you have issues like this, my best advice is, is to is to meet, you know, call your bride and say, hey, they want to change it, you know, is this okay? And one of two things is going to happen. She's either going to fly off the handle and go give them what for, you know, how dare you change my DJ's schedule. Or she's going to say, well, there was a reason why we wanted to do it this way. Or they're very difficult to work with, and this is the way they always do it, so let's just roll with it. And that goes definitely for wedding planners as well. When you discover at the last minute they hired one at some point, or if they don't even tell you, well, you know, I've got what the bride agreed to here, so let's see whose version wins. Even out. after you do all the screening, you still have, you know, Murphy's Law says that something's going to change. You know, something's going to go wrong. So I would say the easiest thing to do at that point is is ask your bride, well, what do you think about that change? Is it going to ruin everything that we're working on? Do you feel good about that? And if she's cool with it, just roll with it. You know, that's probably the best thing you can do, but I, I, I do get that occasionally, uh, particularly with a wedding planner who's been hired at the last minute that you haven't been told about. So We're that, running a little short on time, so we'll speed along with just a couple more slides here. <laughs> All right, whether or not you're using a computer or you're still using CDs, uh, raise your hand if you're using computers. Wow, more than, raise your hand if you're still a dinosaur like me and you're proud of it and you're using CDs. <laughs> okay, well, regardless of whether you're using a computer or a CD, make sure that you've got backup copies of your music. Make sure that it plays all the way through. Uh, because there's nothing worse than getting to an event and discovering that your only copy of their first dance is corrupted and it won't work. Or that your CD is scratched and you know, all it does is sit there and skip. And it won't, won't load. So for those of you using CDs like me, uh, what I like to do is line up all my formalities. If I've got a, it, two introduction songs and I have a first dance, then I've got the two paired dances, I've got everything lined up in sequence on the CD. If you're using a computer, you know that you've got a program that will allow you to queue those tracks up and run them in the order, and I suggest that you make a folder and do that. And then that way, your events are going to be so much smoother because you're not sitting there schlepping CDs. The first one I did, I realized I needed to do that. Uh, the first reception I did, I used a karaoke pioneer V10 twin tray player. And it was at five minutes into dance that I realized that, that eight seconds between the first tray and the second tray changing really told me that I needed to get a second D DJ player. All right, MC. The most important thing when you're an MC is that you have to come across as being confident and understand that your audience is going to do whatever you tell them. And your edge is that you really are the only person in the room who knows what's going to happen next. That's something that my dad taught me. He used to do a lot of public speaking and he always told me, son, you're the only one in the room who really knows what's going to happen next. So say it, make sure they understand it, and follow through with it and you're not going to have any problems because when you do that, they're going to know that you will know what you're doing. So express, express yourself with confidence, express yourself with passion, and express yourself with excitement. Because those are the things that are going to make your reception go. I think emceeing is more important than playing the music. Anybody can press play. But it takes some talent, and it takes some planning and rehearsal and hard work to make a reception go. Never manage over the microphone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our uh, best man toast. Can we get someone down here to clean up this mess on the dance floor, please? Oh, he's in the bathroom. Well, that was way too much information. Nobody wanted to know that. So part of your job as an MC is to also be a coordinator. Find your best man. Tell him, we're doing this in three minutes. I need you to be right here so I can introduce you. If you're doing a first dance, find that 
bride and groom and say, two minutes, and you'll be running around, but it's the best way to ensure that whatever you announce, you know it's going to happen because you've already got them nailed down. And as each event unfolds, you need to make sure that you've located those people so that they know exactly where they need to be. Um, smile. Smile and just, you know, have fun. You know, the biggest, the big, the coolest thing we do is play music. We all have a love for music. We have a passion for it or we wouldn't be here trying to learn and, and get better. Have fun and show it. You know, a lot of times we get caught up with the mixing and you're sitting there, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, you know. You can, you can throw somebody off just by doing that. So try to smile. Make sure that you're always looking like you're having fun because if you're having fun, your audiences are going to have fun and your performances are going to ensure that you get referrals for future weddings. All right, we've got a few, uh, it's almost 2.30, we'll take one question, Joe. Okay, uh, his comment, for those of you who didn't hear it, volume of your music will help you get a referral. For example, if you're playing really loud during your cocktail and dinner hours, that might put some people off. So check your volume. And with that, we're going to say thank you very much. We do have some CD-ROMs up here. And uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. We'll be here all week. Uh, anyone that has questions, feel free just to purchase at any time. Thank you.